Thanks for joining me today. Today's craft is the fall pumpkin. What I tried to do is copy what my mom made. She had this one I'm showing you here now and I loved it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and copy her rather than being original. I'm gonna do my best to get very close to what she had with very similar materials. If you enjoy DIY crafts, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So I start by cutting the wire on the pumpkin frame. Now I got this at the Dollar Tree. I believe it was $4. And uh, it takes a little strength uh, just to snap it, but eventually I do get it. Um, I learned the lesson though. I would suggest if you want to paint your frame, paint it before you cut all the wires. It just keeps it more stable. So you can see here, I'm just working my way through it and cutting all the wires. I decided to paint my frame very much the same as my mom did. She had really nice orange. I'm using um, burnt orange highlighted with gold and bronze. So I put the first coat on the frame and with the burnt orange and then I went back over it and I highlighted with the gold just in spots. I just touched, I almost dry brushed it with gold in a few spots and then I did the same thing uh, with the copper just to give it a little sheen. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm very big into using recycled materials. Now this necklace my mom got at the thrift store and she used it on her frame. And now she's going to share what she has left with me. So uh, here's the remains of the necklace. And uh, so I'm just going to take the beads off that are remaining and uh, add them onto my frame. When you do cut the wire on your pumpkin, I would suggest cutting it near the top, but not too close to the top. I learned a little trick as I went along, and you can actually use the bead uh, as a way of reattaching it in the end. So little tip, leave a little space, don't cut it right up against the frame, and you can use the bead to reattach it again later. Now I saw Liz Fenwick do this craft, and she covered her uh, frame with beads, but I really like what my mom did better to tell you the truth and she just put a little um, Bead here and there. So I just put a little dot of hot glue and Just pull the bead back over it give it a little twist and it almost hides the glue entirely So I what I do is I drop one bead on the bottom of the frame You don't even have to glue that one and then I just kind of scattered them. I didn't want to perfectly uh, row across the pumpkin. So it's just kind of dotted with the bead, a little dot of hot glue, and then pull it back through and give it a little twist. So I thought my frame and beads looked a little dull compared to my mom's. So I thought, okay, I got to jazz this up a little bit. So. I'm using uh, the bronze and the gold and I'm just kind of dry brushing here and there. I don't, I don't want to cover the bead. I'm just putting a little brush of highlighted color just so it's not quite so dull. Now my mom put on the back of the frame a wire just as a support to hold what she was attaching to uh, the frame. So um, I'm going to do the same. So she set her items right inside the pumpkin and it looks really cute. Uh, it does need some sort of support though to keep the items there. So the wire is very useful for that. Now I had this leather strap that was used on that necklace um, still sitting there. So I'm like, well, may as well use it. So I just tied on the leather strap across the back just as a means of support to what I'm gonna be putting in my frame as well. So I just tied it tight and then just put a dab of hot glue just to hold it in place. So I decided to move outside. The lighting was better and it was a reasonably nice day. So I moved on out and I'm just showing you my mom's frame again and I sure like it. I think the orange is actually a better color than what I did, but uh, here we go. I didn't have orange so uh, this is mine again, so you can see it's quite a bit duller. 
So now I have to start building on my pumpkin. Now I frequently look at Facebook Marketplace for free items and if you can believe it, this entire bag was free. Um, I also got a whole box of vases as well, but um, here you go. I'm just showing you what I got. I actually couldn't believe it and it was in the Michaels bag, so I assume it was purchased there. Uh, it doesn't look like it was even used and um, there's like a lot of fall decor there I can use for my crafts. So uh, here we go using free items again. I'm so surprised at how generous some people are and I'm like, I just love it and I'm so grateful for this stuff, it's pretty cool. So now I just need to copy my mom's and the first thing I think she did was cover that um, where she tied her knots and glued it down. So I am going to do likewise and just put a leaf on top of my knots on each side. Now my my glue gun barely reaches. I have a plug-in in the backyard for my waterfall so I'm just stretching <laughs> my cord and uh, so if you see me reaching oddly for my glue gun it's because I'm at the end of my rope there so. So there I just covered up the knots and I'm just going to show you my mom's frame again for reference and now I'm going to work on the bottom and try to copy the bottom of hers. So I'm looking for a pumpkin to add to my frame and other berries and anything I can add to the bottom to get somewhat similar to what my mom had made there but I need to fill the bottom with different items to look like balls so uh, that's what I'm doing here I'm just going through my picks and picking out leaves and berries. So I'm starting the bottom with just a couple of fall leaves, just to give it a little bit of a base. So I'm just trying a dry run, seeing how they fit, and then I'll hot glue them in. Now I found these little gourds uh, in the bag too or squashes, I'm not even sure what they are, but um, I'm just gonna add those now in here as well. Now I'm just gonna work on the stem. I'm just gonna tie a jute rope on there and then just basically wrap it around and around to cover the stem. So I, I tried to do it in an angle. Uh, just to make sure that the wire is covered. So you can see that here. So I went back over it. I had a little gap, so I'm just filling in the gap with more jute. Just tuck in your end, put some hot glue, and then wrap it, and uh, it'll cover really well. And then I just ran a bead of hot glue along the top and ran jute along the top. And then I just used a little hot glue just to hide the end of my jute in the back and um, my stem was secure. So I was gluing the wires down and lo and behold, guess what I did? I glued them in the wrong spot so I had to redo it. So. Um, you know, just kind of watch where you're gluing things because it can easily be done. So uh, a little dab of hot glue and push it down. Um, sometimes it doesn't like to hold. So I have a little trick here that I discovered at the very end on almost my last wire, but I'll just show that to you here. If you leave a little bit of the wire, uh, you can glue a bead onto the end and then put a little glue on the other end and then you can just use it as a joiner. Uh, with the beads so that makes it a very secure joint and it won't come apart now that the wires are all secure i'm just attaching some berries and fall leaves to the top just to uh, dress up the top part it looked a little dull compared to my mom's she had that beautiful flower um, i didn't have that so i used a little cluster uh, with a little fall pumpkin on the top Next, I just wanted to finish adding some flowers um, to the background there. So um, 
since everything was secure, I could just go ahead and add some hot glue and press the rest of the decor right into it and it stuck very well. And if you have any gaps, just add a fall leaf here and there and some berries and it just fills it in and makes it look finished. So here's the two products. My mom's on the right, mine on the left. Looks pretty cute. I love them both. Uh, I still like my mom's the best, but um, write your comments below and let me know which one you like.